All right, everybody. Good evening, Dr. Incompetent here, getting ready to dive into the dungeon. All right, so... I'm going to boot up Bofine here, the level 27 Minotaur Fighter of Zin. And as I am wont to do every time I start up, both to help give context to you, the viewer, I also need to give context to me so I don't forget what is happening in the game. So, um, I have three runes of Zot. I'm max experience level. I am max piety with the god Zin. I am done with Okawaru's wrath. I am on the fourth level of the slime pits, getting ready to try to take out the royal jelly or run away cowardly if uh, it goes south. I have no negative mutations or ailments. My armor class is 40, my evasion is 18, my shields are 39, I have huge strength, all of my stats are quite good. I am currently training invocations at double time, which is almost a 19. I'm doing dodging, and um, I have a manual of dodging, so that's going along quite swimmingly. And I'm also training fighting just to get my hit points up there. Um, in terms of branches of the dungeon, I've cleared the snake pit, the vaults. I haven't even gone inside hell yet. I've cleared the main dungeon. Obviously, I've cleared the temple. I'm in the slime pits currently. I've cleared the crypt. I have not gone into Zot's lair, or the realm of Zot, rather. I've cleared the lair. I've cleared the orcish mines. I have not gone into the tomb. I have cleared the shoals and the elvish halls, or the elven halls, and I've cleared the depths. So, uh, I... Yeah, I think I can take out the royal jelly, or I can at least uh, attempt it. I think if I drink a might potion, vitalize, and haste myself, and maybe even go berserk, I can take him down fast. Yeah, if he tries to run away, then I'll run away. Um, the oh oh yeah he is fast um but if he can't go up the steps right I need to get him in a hallway um and I need to have a shot at the steps remember I can evoke blink so I can you know attempt to make some space we're just gonna see and if this ends bow fine it ends bow fine All right. Um, let me zoom back in on me and go down and try to find a good place to fight the jelly. Okay. So, I don't think I can actually fight the royal jelly. I'm sorry, I can't just take the rune and leave. You have to kill the jelly. Uh, get this guy out of here. Okay. Because when you kill... Yeah, here he is. So, boys and girls, here's the royal jelly. I'm going to move over to the staircase. Just in case. Alright, so I'm going to get it in case. Uh, might. And I'm just going to go berserk. I'm going to start swinging at him. Yeah, he's dead. Look at his health. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Dead jelly. I got all these slimes around me, but for the most part, um, they're not too bad. Now, I'm going to just get out of here because I'm all corroded. And take this guy down. Yeah. I figured if I went berserk with, you know, 43 strength and a plus 11 axe, and I had a shot 
like he was in melee range that it would be over for him and it was okay so just as a reminder that went by really really well but i'm very strong okay uh yeah I, my character is extremely strong i mean i'm a minotaur melee plus you know person um so with the right gear and the right leveling it, it's not going to be that bad but it can go bad and here's how yeah he is the toughest single thing i've fought for sure that could go bad because he summons a bunch of jellies and then all of those jellies the primary thing that i'm worried about is corrosion and so I could get swarmed and surrounded and then corroded to the point where I'm no longer functioning. But that was that was pretty slick, all right? So I'm really pumped about that. That went by. I had to use like two resources for that. And I was able to stay by the staircase. So remember, if you're a new player, take your three runes and leave. Do not fight TRJ uh, unless you just want to see what it's all about and don't mind dying. He's extremely hard. And I was just able to uh, get lucky and overpower him. But that still could have gone badly. So, what does that mean for us? That means we've got our fourth rune here. Well, not yet. Let me know. I'm not going to count chickens i mean there's still jellies around here that can do stuff like that corrode me cool so there's an artifact falcon um what am i looking at that could be any good there's an artifact ring here which might be nice here's the slimy rune of zot here's an amulet of reflection i don't know if the um amulet plus four that i have is the best or if i could potentially get a better one i'm definitely gonna look into that yeah, look at this trove. So what happens, I was reading about this before I came online just to make sure I didn't die to some unforeseen nightmare. What happens is like when he dies, the acid corrodes all of these walls that were blocking in the treasure trove. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to look to see if I can get a plus six one. That would be really nice. Um, I'm also going to just rest to get my corrosion off. Now... There was also a altar here to the slime god, the slime jelly god. And I think it's hilarious that once you kill the royal jelly, that the slime jelly god or whatever, slime god, is out of the game. It's just that the altar explodes and that god is removed from the game because the only sentient worshiper of that god is the royal jelly. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, just a cool flavor thing. All right, so we pick up the slime rune and feel its power. So if I open up my character screen here, you will see that I now have four um, out of 15 runes of Zot. So it does tell you like right here in the sheet how many max there are, there's 15. Um, and so we've got four out of the 15. There's one in the tomb, there's three in hell, there's four in pandemonium, and there's one in the abyss. Um, so, you know, a preponderance of them are in the hell or are, are, uh, I should say about half of them are in hell and pandemonium but we'll worry about those later it does say on the screen like you feel its power it doesn't actually give you any power except just power um, among friends and loved ones that you have you know accomplished a great task okay all right, getting spell books. Ooh, cool. Wow. Look at that plus nine heavy crossbow called Sniper. It has velocity and accuracy plus infinity. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's pretty amusing. And then there's a artifact amulet. Um, I'm gonna just kind of look at this for a second. The sacred weapon of Tothmas, first apostle of the god of Ashenzari. It grants the wielder a fraction of his own vision, ensuring that every shot will land true. So it's like you automatically hit with this thing? Any bolt fired from it inflicts extra damage. This is almost worth just taking and trying to use because it seems hilarious. 
I'm not going to. I can't afford to take off my shield and try to put on a crossbow, but that is sweet. All right. Wow, two artifact falcons. Look at this, a manual of armor. It's grayed out because, oh yeah, that's right. My armor skill is at maximum. Hilarious. I did get one scroll of enchant armor. Okay, so we're building up towards the treasure trove. Fantastic. All right. Okay, I'm going to just auto-explore the rest of this place before I try to mess around with these items. Just to be sure there's no turkeys lying around. I'm really, really hungry. Okay. All right, so let's... I have so many scrolls of identify. Let's see what we got here. Um, okay, this ring is manure for me. Wizardry and dexterity three. That's good for a caster, not good for me. Aw. The amulet plug. <laughs> Harm, drain, and intelligence plus two. Awful. Um, it causes draining when unequipped. It doesn't do anything except for drains you when you take it off. Yeah, that's a pile of turds. All right, no thanks. Um, Iron Ring is uh, a th plus three ring of strength. That's nice. Dropping it. And um, a Bone Ring. Protection from fire. I actually will keep that. And then it's a plus two Amulet of Reflection, so worse than what I have. And then it's a Cursed minus three Ring of Protection. Amusing. Okay. Uh, All right. I'm honestly thinking about just using that scroll of enchant armor on my large shield, um, but I do want to see that trove. I really want to see it. And also, there's this other part of me that's just like, I'm secretly holding out for an artifact large shield. Wow. All right, then. Fine, fine, fine. You've tempted me. You've tickled my, my fancy. Okay. So let's see, where the hell do we want to go now? I mean, is it abyss time? Like, am I going to go into the abyss, or should I start trying to scum out some of hell and just kind of clear some of the hell levels? My options are basically... Um, to go... Wow. Okay. Well... I am protected by a lot of what the Abyss wants to do to me, so... Uh... Alright, fine. It's a one-way gate, people. Yeah, I could, because, so, we're going into the Abyss, alright? Now, this is worth explaining to a new player. Most of the time, you don't want to go in here. You never want to try to get this rune uh, as f part of your first three, in my opinion. However, you can get sent here against your will, um, and it's diabolically difficult. Exactly. The rune can appear as early as this is how it used to work. It could appear as early as floor two, and then the deeper you went, the higher chance you had of finding the rune. It was, like, easier to find or something somehow. Um, but I usually try to get it on floor two. Anyway, the thing about the Abyss is, number one, there's hard enemies in there. Number two, the map is ever-changing. Number three, it's a one-way entrance to get in there. Like, you're either cast into the abyss or you go through this door and you don't know where you're going to find the stairs out. So, 
you need to be able to survive for a long time while you look around for the way out or the way down if you're insane and going for the rune. Um, now, the other thing is, as Fading's talking about, if you're a spellcaster, magic points are an issue because there's constantly enemies happening in that place. You can't really reliably rest. Right. And as he's talking about, most of the enemies, you know, a lot of the enemies anyway, aren't that bad. It's just the cumulative effect of facing him over and over again um, without being able to reliably rest. And then the fact that they mutate you. But Zinn um, is very... Actually, you know what I should do? Before I go in here, let me get some potions of mutation in case I need to cleanse. So I'm going to go to my stash um, in the lair. I'm going to drop off these uh, enchant armor scrolls and things too. Just kind of manage my inventory a little bit. So I know I have some potions of mutation either here or maybe they were at a shop somewhere. So I'll go find them. All right, let me just drop some stuff. Um, I'm going to drop... Polymorph wand. This enchant weapon. Um, this enchant armor. That should be good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna do Control F to search, and um, I'm gonna search for mutation. And yeah, um, there were four potions of mutation here in the snake pits that I dropped. So I'm going to go back and get these. And I'm going to take them with me in case I get mutated. Now what happens basically is because I'm Zin and I have max piety, I can drink a potion of mutation and cure my negative mutations without getting any more bad ones from the potion. Alright, so... I'm going to give me one second. I'm going to get some tea in my cup here. Fading, you ever drink uh, tea? You a tea man ever? I gotta say, I'm usually not. I like coffee. But tea is a better, you know, health and caffeine choice. Anyway, my wife, um, yeah, wow. Because she had too much? Anyway, yeah, I know. I should probably cut down on my own coffee intake. Um, ah, Jesus. Yeah. Don't want to mess with the old ticker. Um, yeah, you see, I got an espresso machine, and I've been doing, like, lattes and stuff that I make at home, and, um, yeah... I really enjoy it. Anyway, so my wife had this person at her work who was from, she's from Kenya, and she gave uh, my wife some of this Kenyan tea, and I've been trying it. It is awesome. It's called Katepa. I don't know if you've ever tried it. Like, apparently Kenya is known for their tea. Oh, dude, yeah, exactly. Um, it's like I have a... Uh, powdered cocoa and cinnamon that I put on there. It's. Did you ever see, uh, in, you remember in the Simpsons movie when Ned Flanders makes that hot cocoa? Yeah, it's like this. Um, let me write it for you. It's called Ketepa. Anyway, you should Google it. Um, it's like, there's just a screen of it where he's Ned's trying to tempt Bart from, you know, being outside and, and 
be friendly to him and he makes this unbelievable cocoa where it's like it looks delicious and then he keeps adding stuff to it like whipped cream and then um chocolate straws shaved chocolate that he puts on there and then he like roasts marshmallows with like a, a, a pocket torch and stuff it's unreal it looks so good uh, but anyway i got some of this tea um and I had some to try, and I went to Amazon, and I was able to buy, like, a box of 100 bags of this stuff for, like, five bucks. So good. Anyway, enough about tea. You're like, dear God, what is going on here? All right, so let's um, go back. Oh, it won't let you put the picture in? That's too bad. My bot is just outrageously strong. It's just like no pictures. Yeah, the picture of Flanders is just awesome with it. It is an Iron Fist. It's going to kick me out of the channel pretty soon. All right, let's go back to the depths and go back into the abyss. And so we can teach you about the abyss. Let's, let's learn about the abyss. Let's see if anything's changed since the last I've gone in here. I have night terrors about this place. All right, so the other thing you really want when you go into the abyss is a lot of food because you can starve to death in here. But thankfully, as I was talking to people on the DCSS subreddit, food really isn't a problem anymore. They've kind of like rolled it back as something that you have to manage and care about for the most part. So anyway, I'm going in. Okay, so when you try to go in, it tells you in blue, quite nicely. If you enter this portal, you might not be able to return immediately. So it's protecting you from you. But I know I want to go in, so I'm going in. Ooh, right away, look at this. A potion of mutation. And a door out. This is like the best possible scenario for going into the abyss. You see the door out right here. And then you get some, like, treasure items right here. So Wand of digging improvement. Scroll of fog. Amnesia is nothing but potion. So it's like, wow, what a... What a friendly place. Now, I will tell you, though, even though I found the way out, that is no guarantee that I will be able to get back to that. All right? So, um, one thing I like to do in the Abyss is to just move one direction. I know it's stupid. It probably does not help. But I like to just go diagonally um, <laughs> to get around. All right. And I'll show you. You see how on the mini-map there's all these black dots? Like, normally these would not be here. I've been up here, so these would be mapped. But what happens when you go into the abyss is that the map starts to slowly deteriorate and evolve. And you lose your knowledge of it, and it's changing. I'm just going to fight. Yeah, that's just kind of what I do, is I just try to move diagonally. Um, because it helps me not backtrack. Ugh, look at this guy. Summoning stuff on the water. You turkey. Alright, so what am I looking for? I'm actually looking for the stairs down because I'm sick. Now, the one thing about the, ab uh, the abyss that is worth mentioning... Okay, so this is a sun demon. This isn't too bad. He's going to do fire damage. Um, but then when you get into something like this... Let me see. Um, he does a bunch of electricity damage. Okay, that's fine. All right, now this is where it gets... This is bad, all right? Um, this is called a star-crusted mass. So it's like when it divides, it does some kind of attack that can overwhelm your mind and stun you. And that's bad when there's a, a bunch of enemies like, oh, I don't know, this one, okay? This is what you want to avoid and kill as fast as possible or run away from if you can get out of line of sight of the Wretched Star. Because he has a corrupting pulse which um, temporarily mutates you, okay? And they're bad mutations. And remember, you can't reliably rest here, so those temporary mutations that you get can last for a long time. They are a nightmare. However, if you look down at the bottom... You can see Zin protects your body from mutation. So he tried to mutate me, um, but Zin was like, I don't think so. Now this time, um, 
Oh, Zen protected me again. Very nice, Zen. But you see how frequently that guy does that ability? I mean, Jesus. Now, you see me fighting stuff, by the way. I don't really recommend fighting too much. I like to just kill what I can if I feel like it's going to be quick. Because it takes me no resources to fight, or they're minimal resources. Um, but if you're a caster, or you're just trying to get the hell out of here, do not fight. Just run by moving in a diagonal direction until you see the way out. Auto Explore is not your friend. Yeah, and Fading's point is right. Like, if you intentionally come here, you want to kill as you go to just not get overwhelmed. But there are so many ways that you can get here against your will. If you get thrown in here and you don't want to be in here, run. It might be dangerous, but... You know. You're probably screwed if you get thrown in here against your will most of the time. But I, I've made my way out before. Um, Alright, large abomination. Let's get this guy. Now, one thing is, people do come here intentionally to gain experience um, if they want to level up skills because the enemies are infinite. So, that's a possibility. But remember, you do not auto-explore. I'll show you. If I push auto-explore, my guy's just going to go hog wild running around and might um, very well double back over areas he should not, wasting time. But the pro, I suppose, of auto-exploring is that if you see a doorway up or down, you will immediately stop. So there's no chance that you'll accidentally key press past it. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't matter where you go. It just... Maybe the the scripting got a lot better for it, but it used to be really bad to auto-explore here. You would just run around in circles and um, waste your time. Okay, so let's kill this guy. Alright, kill this guy. Oh boy, I need to get out of this water and then fight this guy. Wow, okay, so this is an enemy I can actually eat. Cool. Not too frequently you get a... Yeah, the lightning dogs you can eat delicious not too frequently in here you get enemies that you can eat um yeah so these guys are dicks because it's nature inflicts withering illness on all living beings all right nothing is happening to me right now that's bad but um that doesn't mean it can't so i'm gonna kill this zyme before he gets oh no i fell ill you see i'm sick um, I'm just going to drink one of my Mingillion Potions of Curing to get rid of the sickness. That's why I use Sandbag those. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, so... This is another thing... Oh, the sickness just passes. That makes the Abyss challenging for me, at least as melee, is that you have these enemies that can sap intelligence. They brain feed. Now, luckily, I was able to build my intelligence up pretty highly, but too many of these... Look at that. There's two on the screen. Just right there that's awful i'm gonna immediately go vitalize with zin um because vitalize protects your stats from being drained so i you know you can't just easily walk around with that on unfortunately uh but after he drained me once and i saw another one that will protect all subsequent drains or at least make me very very hard to drain all right sweet okay so um let me modify a little bit what I said. I like to move diagonally um, when I'm trying to get out or whatever. But I just auto-explored after a bit because as Fading said, it's not really that big of a deal. And now what I've done is um, find the way down. So I'm a sick puppy. I'm an extended. Extended is like you're just taunting the game and trying to have it kill you. Um... Moving diagonal is faster, yes, than auto-exploring. Auto-exploring is much slower. If food is a concern or you just want to get the hell out, and to be honest, you probably do want to just get the hell out because of mutations, um, but this is one of the main reasons I roll uh, Zin is just to make this not that big of a deal. I'm going down. Okay, and so I'm going to auto-explore. Now, what is this guy all about? Uh, 
Nah, he just wants to probably fight me hard, melee. And it's like, if anybody has no abilities except, you know, there's a level deeper. I might go a level deeper just to increase the chances that the rune pops. What you're doing is just trying to find the rune now. It's not on the first floor, but it could be on floors deeper than one. The deeper you go, the the higher the spawn rate of the rune on the squares that you uncover as you're exploring in the abyss. So if I go down, the chance goes up, but you also fight harder enemies as you go down. Um, so I don't know if I really want that. Get out of here, Ancient Zyme. Cool. Ice Blast. Beep. What is this guy all about? The Thrashing Horror? Man, this guy is fast. Get out of here. All right. Thrash around somewhere else, buddy. Ooh. Okay. Here's an Apocalypse Crab, all right? So this guy has a bunch of crap. To, you see all these clouds. Um, he has Chaos Breath. And... It's fumes filled with the very essence of the abyss, so that's bad. But you know what else is bad? Disintegration. Boom. He's been exploded. All right, I'm just going to um, say something about the way that he didn't explode, first of all. Um, but I want to say something about the way that the game has improved in terms of transparency. So when I went to use my wand, it said, I am aiming disintegrate. Then it said, you're aiming at the apocalypse crab? Well, you have a 66% chance to defeat his magic resistance, which disintegrate, it's like, if you don't defeat their magic resistance, they just take no damage. And so it gives you a little bit more information about making that decision on do you want to waste a turn using disintegrate. Well, I did. Okay. So, I'm going to hit this guy now that he's up on me. Man, these clouds of his. What, he made me go berserk? Bah. Waste of time. All right. I'm slow. Let me get up here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to try to rest. It's not going to work. Okay. Let's just go back to exploring. Are you... In yeah, whatever. Okay, come on, Rune. Wow, Blink Frogs. Give me some grub to eat, guys. Thank you. Sometimes the Abyss is friendly, and that was one of those times. I'm getting my intelligence back, slowly but surely. Oh. Now, here we go. Tentacled star spawn. This guy is a jerk because he spawns tentacles that like reach out. Um, but he's really not that hard for me. Um, oh, okay. And here's another good example of what to expect in the abyss. You see right here it says, the substance of the abyss twists violently and a gateway leading out appears. So this is indicating that like, you know, the abyss is evolving and changing as you spend time in here. And so now a gateway has appeared. Where has it appeared? Um, I don't see it. Oh no, I'm standing on it. Cool. Maybe that, does that appear just where you kill that tentacle man? Like if you kill him, a door out appears underneath him? Or is that just a random happenstance? Oh, okay. It just was fortuitous that it was right on his square. Um, I'm checking myself out. No, no terrible mutations or anything. So let's just run around. Try to find this rune. I'm actually getting hit by some stuff, which I don't like. Oh, look at this guy. A elephant. Yes. Um, so he's got fire breath and he blinks okay so all right elephant going after you ah makes sense their screams go right to the source all right yeah see so i'm like trying to rest it's such a futile effort in 
the abyss but I like to try to do it anyway with a character like this because um, ooh, I'm suddenly pulled into a different region of the abyss that's fine let's just explore and that's another thing that can happen so like even if you find a gate out and you want to be like oh sweet well I got the doorway out I'll just stand around here and defeat enemies and then I've got a escape route if I need it no they can just yank you around in the abyss and away from that staircase so you can't count on it I like to rest whenever my hit points are low to be honest I don't like to ever have not full hit points um, but you don't there's the way out what you don't want to happen in the abyss is for the cumulative long-term effect of getting hit by enemies to take you out so what I mean is you don't want to just like let yourself go um, he tried to mutate me but Zin protected my body again from mutation thank you Zin it's basically the opposite of the abyss like the nightmare god for the abyss all right, I'm very hungry, so I will eat. And I'm going to run around and try to... Next time I find a staircase down, I might take it just to increase my chances of finding the uh, the rune. A gateway leading down. Well, I think the angels of the abyss just heard me because I was like, next time I find a way down, I'm going to take it. Um, and then a way down appears. Interesting. So we're going down. Now remember too, a gateway out is a gateway out. There's no gateway up to the previous staircase, I don't think, anyway. It's just if you find a gateway out, you're out. So it's not like I have to contend with any more floors by going down one. It's just more difficult enemies. All right. Let's get this rune and get out of here. This place just makes me so uncomfortable. Um, oh, I got yanked to another part, but as you can see, again, Zin with full piety coming through clutch and protecting me from mutation. Being protected from mutation in this place um, makes it, along with the fact that I have insane stats and gear at this point, makes it not too terrible. To be honest, the Royal Jelly probably presented more of a threat as did vaults five at the staircase than this is right now but it's hard to just say that into a vacuum because i've been building up to this point and i ha i wasn't zen i had to switch to zen go through all of okawaru's wrath to get to where i'm at um anyway all right come on rune help me out I need to rest. Ooh, what's this guy all about? Yeah, get out of here. Uh, I could go down. I don't really want to. I'm going to kill this guy and rest. Okay, good. He didn't drain my intelligence. That was the only real concern there. To be honest, too, those lightning dogs, like, lightning can get... Oh, the lurking horror explodes. I forgot about those dudes. I'm just, like foolishly running around and, and tabbing to explore, which is not necessarily wise, but um, I forgot that those guys can explode and just do way more damage than I want to deal with. Hey, get out of here. All right, let me kill that guy so his summons go away. All right. Um, I feel my health improve. Well, that sounds good. Let me check my skills at this point. A torrent, uh, a, oh, it's a torment bomb? That's what hurt me so badly, Jesus. Okay. Um. Dodging is rolling. Okay. Am I training shields again? I am, I'm just trying to like max it out. I gotta tell you though, I'm gonna right click on this guy. Alright, 
Now this is a um, executioner. Ah, uh, no, he just cast pain. Okay, I was worried that he could torment me. There's another guy, I think, another enemy type that shares that model. Maybe it's a different color that can torment that I don't want to see. Something smited me. What was that? The smoke demon. Are you smiting me? Jerk. Get out of here. All right. Anyway, that was a, a little tussle that I got into there. Boy, there's a lot of enemies. Jesus. They're getting nasty. All right, this is getting really, really terrifying. Um, I'm going to use my potion of curing. I'm going to eat. Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to start reciting... Yeah, I might just teleport. I'm just taking too much damage here. Okay. This is one place where it's like, although Zin is awesome, I really wish I had Trog's hand so I could start regenerating. That makes this also easier. Ambrosia potions? No. Okay. All right. I'm gonna recite. Hey, look what happened. Boom. Boom, boop, boo. This is Zin. This is Zin happening okay one two well no these are abominations but look at these guys these dudes they used to be bad guys and they just got turned into pillars of salt all right you get the experience for that and they're just instantly dead from zin and his powers so just a little amusing thing um All right. A little cloak there. I'm going to stand here, and I'm just going to rest. <laughs> All these guys just, like, teleport into this area. Thanks a lot. Can I just rest for a second? Look, get out of here. What are you on about, Blizzard Demon? Get real. What are my chances to destroy you? Wow. Not good. Um, what about this? Yeah, you didn't like that at all. Although there's a jerk back here. We gotta kill this guy fast. Huh. This smoke demon is not what I wanted to see right here. Alright, smoke demon. What do you think about my recitation? And my vitality? Hmm? Okay. Jeez. It's actually kind of nice when you get pulled into a different region of the abyss when you're trying to rest like I am because for a moment the enemies aren't quite as aware of where you are. All right. So you get into like sticky spots like that where you just need to get your health back and you have to take out a bunch of enemies. That's why you just have to be really prepared for this place. It, it swings so dramatically in difficulty Come on now. Come on, Rune. All right, I'm gonna have to take the next staircase down. I, I really don't want to, but this is just, I'm not finding the room. All right, you wouldn't? you just stay here and keep looking? Yeah, I guess so, all right. No reason to make it harder on myself than it already is, eh? Yeah, that's true. I was just kind of hoping, like, for the miracle where I step down, and then the rune is just right there, but... 
That's true. I do have the time. I have plenty of food. Oh, I can eat these guys. Oh, no. I could. Actually, they're Naga. No, I can't. But still, you know what I mean. I could, I could maybe. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Just wait. Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. No. Strange disturbance. It was that man going invisible. Vampire. Come on now. Let's get the rune. We're looking for the rune in the abyss, people. We intentionally went into the abyss praying that we would get the rune. All right. This lich needs to die immediately. Oh, hungry ghost. What a problem. Come on over here so I can kill you. All right. All right. Let's just rest. Okay. Is this a guy that... It's a reaper. Nah, he just hits you. He just wants to do melee, which I'm fine with that. Yeah, he does suck. I just thought maybe he had something, but he's not as good as the actual reaper. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Thank you. Man, the abyss, like, shifted into this room around me. Did you see that? So I could just easily rest. Beautiful. Now I got pulled into a different region. Um, let's hope this is a different region that just happens to have the... Hey, it's a Choco. It's a ration. And one gold piece. This game has such a sense of humor. Just one gold lying there. All right, get out of here. Get out of here, everybody. All right, I need to rest. I'm going here. I'm resting. I got pulled into a different region. I'm resting. I'm resting. This is kind of what this looks like, by the way. If you're unfamiliar with the Abyss or you haven't been here in a while and you haven't been here specifically to get a rune, if you're melee, this is kind of what this looks like. It's just... You get down on your hit points a little bit. You got to find a little quiet spot to rest. It very often doesn't work. Um, yeah, you're right. The rune does have some items around it. Maybe I should start intentionally trying to find the rune by just walking around myself instead of auto-exploring everywhere. But um, what is this guy all about? Chaos spawn. Lurking horror. Man, see, did it? Where did it say on his ability that he was going to do that? I, I did not see that in his description. Anyway, whatever. That's so annoying. He's just a walking bomb. All right. I already got hit by him. You'd think I would learn my lesson. Maybe the third time I'll learn my lesson. I'm going to vitalize so this guy doesn't take my intelligence. Yeah, that's a torment bomb for sure. Okay, get out of here. Whatever you are. Oh, lurking horror. Get out, get out. Looks like there's no way I can get away from this. Yeah. In that spot, I'm ruined. Okay, let's go up here then. Oh, man, yeah. Like, your food would get, like, uh, infested with their spores. Yeah, that was awful. All right. I'm going to go here and just rest. What is this guy? A profane servitor. Um, yeah, there's a bomb here. I'm going to recite. I want to see if my recitation can blow this guy. Or can I just hit him with, like, with one of my things? And and he does. Now he just hits me no matter what. That's fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean borderline unfair. It's less damage. Oh, it scales based on how far away he is? That's interesting. Well, it doesn't feel like it. Feels like I'm at half health here. All right, let's get this guy before he makes his clouds. Oh, this is getting ugly. I'm going to recite. Yep, pillar of salt. So sorry, everybody. Okay, I want to go into this little chamber here and rest. Can I get a just a nap time, please? Guys, guys, I am trying to sleep. I set my alarm clock. I am all ready for ZZZs. All right, can I sleep now? Yeah. No, 
It's pulling me to another place. It's weird, like when it pulls you to another place, it removes your health bar for a moment, and so it makes me think that I've restored my health when I haven't. It's too bad. I'm too confused. I'm confused. Zen will generally protect me from that. But I'm not going to complain because, oh, I don't know. Um, he's protected me from mutation. No. Without fail every time so far, so... Hey, rune. Anybody got the rune? Who has seen the rune? Anybody? I'm looking for the rune. Rune. Oh, what's this little gate over here? I mean, it's an old gate. Maybe it's an old staircase. That's it. But, man, don't grab me with those tentacles. We got social distancing here, dude. You're like the worst at it. You probably haven't washed those tentacles in the longest time. I don't even want to think about where those tentacles have been. Alright. So anyway, I'm just pushing O and pushing Tab and trying to find the rune. I'm pretty much strong enough to do that. It's just a matter of time. Sometimes, I swear, I will like just have the best luck with the Abyss and just walk in and there's the rune and I'm out. Other times, it's like this. It's just uh, a lot of... Banging your head against a wall. Is this it? This looks good. This looks good. Get out of here, you. Hey, 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 hey. There's the way out. Kind of... It's tempting to just leave and, and try it again another day, but um, I'm already here, damn it. I'm going to keep going. Get out of here. Enchanted weapon. Move around the corner. Wait. Wait. Blast you. Alright. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. What's over here? No, no, no. Get out of here. Hey, man. That was uncalled for. What kind of BS was that torment? Not supposed to be doing that. We had an agreement. No torment. Uh-oh. Okay. It took my ability to move. Ugh. This is annoying. All right. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just try to rest if I can. All right. I'm poisoned. I need to... Bam. I wish I had some kind of uh, regeneration. It would make this so much easier. But this is what you get in the Abyss. It's not like one of these enemies, or two of these enemies, or even a hundred of these enemies are challenging. It's just when it's all of them all at once without being able to stop that it gets dicey. All right, I'm gonna recite. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my vitality. What is this yellow guy? He's awful. I don't want to see him at all. I'm going to hide over here. Yeah, I need to kill you right away. Okay. Hey, look at this. I'm 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 confined. This is like a perfect nap space. I'm going to nap forever right here. Whatever, as long as it takes. All right, great. Man, that was really helpful. Okay, I'm just going to wait until um, the doors open up. and Or I'll just use a teleport scroll, I suppose. Can I dig through this? Or not scatter shot? Can I, can I dig through? Yeah, cool. I can dig. Man, they were all waiting here. Look at all these summoned guys. What a disaster. All right. Here.
Um, yeah, it was loud. I've, I invited the entire party over here. Smoke demon. Ah, oh, he's smiting me from far away. What a jerk. Alright then. Here, have some electricity. Does that hurt you? What about some more electricity? Yeah, I could teleport. <laughs> this is like the entire congregation. Who's These guys are smiting me. I'm gonna have to teleport. Yeah. The cubby is no good, and then all of these summon guys are, you know, kind of um, blocking what's happening with this guy. So I'm gonna try to just hit this guy again with just something massive. Yeah, it really is. Ugh. Smite, smite, smite all day long. Annoying. The other thing is, you saw that I teleported, and I teleported a long time ago, actually. But what ends up happening is that... Uh, it The abyss delays your teleportation. So anyway, let me just give these guys the treatment, or at least attempt to give them some kind of treatment. Uh, okay. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? What? The lurking horror snuck in there. Boof. I might be dead. Let's just see. Okay, I need a drink. Could this teleport ever happen? Like, is this not ever going to happen? Ever? Um, okay. So then let me go ahead and drink one of my heal wounds potions and step back. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'll heal again. I mean, there's no point in just trying to... Ooh, look at this. This looks promising for something. I'm going to drink, and I'm going to drink, and I'm going to go in here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. I got to get it. Um, this one? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I just... Graze the exit. Okay, so here's the rune. Here's the abyssal rune of Zot, which is like what I'm going for, big time. Been been going for it. All right. Um, now, what I need to figure out, I'll check to see if I can dig either the wall or the window. No, I can't dig any of this stuff. Um, I don't, like, my inclination is almost to just rest right here to try to get my health back, but I don't want the Abyss to teleport me someplace else when I'm right here. So I'm going to have to waste some Heal Wounds potions and then just open a door and see what happens, okay? So I'm going to recite immediately, and I'm going to just um, chill these Draconians. Really, the Draconians aren't bad. Like, I'm not... Yeah, because the deal is, if I lose this opportunity, I'm I'm going to uh, just feel awful. All right, these are a, this guy torments. I think the Hell Sentinel. 
Um, no, he just iron shots and hurls damnation. This guy, and this guy smites. Okay, so we have to, um, I'm gonna go berserk, um, and I'm gonna kill these guys as fast as possible. Yeah. All right. So just like that, we got the rune. It says you feel the abyssal rune guiding you out of this place. Does it help you get out? Like, is it going to make a staircase appear? I'm just going to rest here, by the way, as long as I can. They should let me rest. This is BS. This is BS that I can't rest right here. I'm, I am, at, they can't fight me. This should be safe. There's no reason. I'm going to close, or I'm going to close the door. And then I'm going to close the door. And... Whatever. Look, guys, can a, can a brother... Can I just get some sleep? Is that possible? You think maybe? Okay. I'm silenced. I've been silenced by something. Somebody's up to no good. Alright. Whatever. I think the worst is behind us. I mean, I... Let me knock on wood when I say that, because... Um... I feel pretty good here. Okay. So... Let's see where this goes. It goes here. Alright, we need to weigh out, people. I need to go down here. Kill you. And then... Alright, whatever. Uh, stop confusing me, people. Okay. Alright, alright. Are you here? Really? Okay. Let's find the way out, shall we? No, I don't want down. Are you crazy? I'm trying to get out. I don't really want to fight you anymore. You don't want me to fight you. Trust me. I'm near starving. Well, um, eat. 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 Pick this up. Get out of here. You. Man. It's been very difficult. But we've done it. Sort of. All right, we're five runes deep. Let's get out of here. Can we have that happen? Can we find the staircase out? Another staircase down. Not quite what we're looking for, the abyss. Come on, abyssal rune. Show me the way out. Show me the way. Show me the way. I've been in here for a long time. Nope, that's a way down. We need that white door. We need the white one. There it is! Death is released for them. Yeah, they're stuck in here forever. They probably want it. They're like, no, don't leave. Please kill us. And we pass through the gate. Okay. So there, everybody. You saw how fun that was? That was the abyss. <laughs> that is why you... Unless you're going extended, it's just not worth your time. It is really, really challenging to try to get in and out with that room, but we did it. You can see that um, now... Yeah, I mean, exactly. And that's what's important, what Fading's talking about. Like, I was able to take out the Royal Jelly, Elf's 2, a lot of hard places pretty easily with Bofine, and yet the Abyss, the Abyss got me to some places where, you know, I was not on the brink. I mean, I went down to 25 hit points at one point, which is quite bad. Um, but I still, you know, I, I have... Um, 11 potions of heal wounds left, but I don't want to really tap into those. Now, um, if you look at our character sheet, here we are with 5 out of 15 runes. And what we want to do from here is, look, I've got now 21 evade and 40 shield, which means that um, 
my dodging skill, I've used up my manual. I used, like, a manual is only good for a certain amount of skill levels, and then you just kind of, you learn all you can from it, and it disappears. Shield is almost maxed. I'll go ahead and max that out. Invocations is getting insane. I'll start raising evocations pretty soon. Fighting is really decent. But these numbers here are great. But as great as they are, it's almost just like winning more at this point with my strength, my AC, my evade, and my shield. I mean, not entirely. It's always nice to have. But the main threats still remain the same. Which are Hellfire. And torment and smiting. Okay. How often do you go into the abyss and go down to level three until you find the rune and get no mutations? Huh? Not often, unless you're dogs with zin like me. Okay. Um. Now, what do I want to do? Let's look at our choices. Our choices are. To go into hell, to go into the realm of Zot, to go into the tomb, or to mess around in pandemonium. Uh, tomb is actually something I think I can do with Zen. It's still really, really hard because of, as you just saw, smiting, and there's a lot of smiters, but. You can stair dance the final portion of the tomb. There's some really long hallways in there, which are annoying, but um, I think with Zen, that's my choice for right now. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm very hungry. Let's eat. Let me drop this. Got five scrolls of blank out of the deal, though. That's pretty damn good. Okay, so. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Just looking at my inventory right now, trying to decide if I want everything that I have or if I need anything. I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good. All right, let's go in. So here's the tomb. This is another um, sub-branch that contains a rune. Um, and when you enter a place, uh, it'll tell you it contains the golden rune of Zat. It's a place that you really want to avoid unless you're going for extended. And let's learn why. Okay, so right away, here's a guardian mummy who's just chilling. What does he do? Um... I have max uh, negative energy, so I feel pretty good here. I have one of everything. My, my, my magic resistance is three out of five, and then Zin will protect me against most things. So the Guardian Mummy, um, it will inflict a necromantic curse on its foe when destroyed. So that's really annoying. I'm going to recite, and I turned him into a Pillar of Salt, okay? And he did inflict a little curse on me. These curses are really annoying. They can be quite bad. That one isn't that bad. It just made me sick. But... Now, it might be the case that I don't clear the tomb right here. That what I do is just clear some of it and then head elsewhere. But I just want to kind of scout it out. See, okay, here's what's the hardest part of this for me, all right? Are these sphinxes, okay? Because they smite. What do these death scarabs do? They don't really do anything too alarming. Um, so I'm going to just... You can see that below each enemy... Um, let me zoom in for you. There is a health bar. And it gives you an indication, although not exact, of their health. And I'm wielding an axe. They're all around me. Normally, that's bad. You don't, you know, I want to fight in a corridor. But as you can see from the minimap, there really are no corridors in this portion. 
of the tomb. It's just these wide open hallways and they're long, so it's really bad for range. But more importantly, I actually want these Sphinxes up on me, so I'm hitting them with my ranged melee attack, which hits everybody around me, because they will smite me. This guy, um... Um, they exude death and decay and feed on the life energies of those unfortunate enough to encounter it. So I'm going to go Vitali and, um, look at this. Yeah. So the scarabs are no problem. Let me just show you something. Okay. All I did there was use my ability, um, and... I, I got my Divine Stamina, right? And then what happened is they, they tried to attack me. Now, luckily, one of the cool things about Vitality is not only does it protect your stats and help you in other ways, it raises your stats a bit, and that raises my shield skill. And you can see here, um, I blocked two attacks. The Sphinx missed me. I blocked three attacks. The Sphinx missed me. The Sphinx missed me. Um, and then the Sphinx tried to get me with something... Um, confuse or paralyze. I'm immune to his confuse, by the way. That's sweet. I've never seen that before. And he only has a 6% chance to paralyze me and a 6% chance to slow me. I, I'm pretty sure I'm interpreting that correctly. But anyway, the point is, I want to hit this Sphinx first to kill him. Then take out the next lowest Sphinx. He's dead. And then hit this Sphinx. And then there. All right, here's a bunch of problems, okay? What are the problems? These guys are all going to put curses on me. However, remember, I'm Zin. So I'm going to push A, A to recite. And watch this. One, two, three, four enemies all dead instantly from Zin using an ability that, that uses no piety, no magic, no energy of any kind. So nice against the undead. Um, I'm just going to wreck these guys i also confused this sphinx with my um what i recited so he's not even going to try and smite me for the moment because he's been confused now i'm out of here i certainly want to not fight anywhere near this zot trap i'm gonna just go here and rest make sure nothing happened to me at this point in the game a lot of what you want to do is just push shift a to open up this um innate abilities weirdness and mutations just to be sure you don't have anything like a, a, a negative ailment or a curse that's happened to you that you aren't aware of. Additionally, check your debuffs and check your stats just to be sure that nothing bad has happened to you. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and zoom back in and then run around. Okay, scarabs, not that bad. Oh my god. Okay, bad. All right, what happened was um, I just got one two three um i got power of darkness by this uh mummy priest and he took me below half health so that's why this place is really bad i'm actually going to use a blink spell and just blink over here for now and get the hell out of here i've been contaminated which sucks and i'm going to run around this corner these are all summoned guys i'm going to start reciting and get rid of them and i'm going to step around this corner step over here and I'm just going to run until I can rest up before I try to fight that guy again. Okay, he's back. I'm going to recite. And boom. You see, that guy was a prick. He was just blowing me away before. And then now that I'm able to just get him closer, uh, I just recite. And he is a pillar of salt. He's ruined. Um, I feel extremely nervous. And pain shoots through me. So he hurt me with his curse. Uh, ooh, Jesus. Okay, so this little... Uh, Ushabti does a bunch of crap that I'm not happy about, but as long as I'm not in that death field, it's okay. I've been drained for one hit point, like I said, check your stats, but that's fine. Alright, here comes a guardian mummy, and if it's just one, I'll kill him. Um, he, trained, he drained my stat for four there. Zin did not protect me. So I think then if that's uh, on the table as something that can happen from the mummy curses. And by the way, if you're... I'm just being lazy. Um, but 
if this is your first time in the tomb, check the wiki. It will tell you all of the possible curses that you can get from the mummies so that you can have an idea of what's on the table. Uh, reminding me that that's on the table, I'm going to vitalize every time um, before I kill a mummy because I'll just gain the piety back from killing it. And then if it's going to be a stat drain like that, the, vita uh, the vitalization should protect me from it. Okay, so he's smiting me. Um, so I'm gonna, just going to start reciting and I'm going to go vite and I'm going to step in and annihilate this guy um, like that. Okay. Scroll of Silence. That can be very helpful for these smiting bastards. Yeah, I mean, Tomb is really hard. I'm going to recite. And I'm going to turn him into a Pillar of Salt. But I swear, the Tomb is really, really hard. And I'm not getting around that. And I don't want to... But Zin makes it much more manageable. Which is why I used to go Shining One pretty much every time as my endgame switch. And now, more and more, I'm just really liking Zen, at least for melee and my playstyle. Okay. Hey, you. Get out of here. Alright, I'm really hungry. Another thing is, this is a... Another... Yeah, exactly. I just don't need MP. This is a regular mummy, so we'll just kill him. This is the Ushtabi who does that. I think he yells and, like, alerts enemies nearby. Here's a guardian mummy, so I'm going to protect my stats. Um, I'm just going to fight all these guys. Oh, okay. So I'm going to recite Pillar Assault 1. Pillar Assault 2. Greater mummies out the door. I'm gonna Jesus, I'm gonna kill this guy. Man, will you stop making clouds? Here we go. Oh, recite. Okay. Uh, this is a blink out of here situation. Can't even blink very far, but I need to blink here. And. God, I'm thinking about... Well, I'm out of line of sight, so I can step out. I should be able to step here and just get away far enough. Yeah, I'm just going to walk out. This guy is really fast, but that's fine. They're summoned. I'm going to walk all the way out and rest. Remember, this is not the Abyss. There's nothing wrong with just leaving and resting outside of this place. And this is kind of how you have to clear... A shithole like this, anyway, is bit by bit, just like I did Vault 5. It's actually the only saving grace of this place, is that it's not like the Abyss. What a prick. Alright. I'm just gonna rest on the steps. Okay, no more Greater Mummies. There's one. Hey, you turned into salt. Love it. Frederick. All right, let's take a look. Um, hey, Frederick, how are you? A svelte fighter mage. <laughs> svelte fighter mage with a gold rim monocle. Wow, this guy's awesome. Frederick the Flawless. And a keen sense of tradition and the blood of the gods running through his veins. He's here looking for a worthy opponent, but he's yet to find one. Hmm. What am I worried about? What is Spellforge Servitor all about? Summons an extra planar elemental. That sucks. He's got a big mace of Holy Wrath, which does crap against me. Okay, um, I'm going to vitalize, and um, he's summoned somebody. I'd like to be able to... Oh, I see. I should be able to block most of those nuke spells. Um, I'm just going to... I want to be able to recite against this guy, because I think I can wreck him with it. Ah, whatever, he's dead. He gave me a bunch of experience, though. I got all my decks back. Or not all, but some of it back. Um, alright. Anyway, thanks, Frederick. It's been a treat. I paid a tithe of two gold. It doesn't seem like very much. Hey, you like javelins? 
Not really. Your sight. What do you think, buddy? About javelins? Not really that much. But what do you think about uh, just my axe? That's better. Alright, let's go over here and rest. Ah, uh, tomb. Alright, I'm really hungry. So again, like I said, it doesn't provide food, but at least it's not that big of a problem. There's a Zot Trap, so let's get the hell away from there. This is a Guardian Mummy, so I'm going to vitalize just to protect myself from... Yeah, you see that? Look at that. The divine stamina protects me from decay. See, so if you are Zin, whenever you're about to kill somebody, it's going to give you one of those curses. Just use your, um, oh boy, get out of here. Use your vitalization as soon as you can. Man, what a crappy trapped room. I'm just gonna close the door on that place. Look at that net trap. It's kind of cool, though, if you want to play, like, badminton or something. It's all set up for you. All right. Bunch of traps. Bunch of traps. Okay. Oh. Was it always like this? Was it always a one-way staircase? I know. I'm not going to take it. I'm, is it always one way? Yeah, I was going to say. It didn't used to be like that. Well. Yeah. It was, it was just like they were like, you know what? We really need to make the tomb harder. All right. So. Let me... um check out the realm of Zot. Um, yeah. I'm just going to... I'm looking at the uh, wiki for the realm of Zot to make sure that it no longer... Um, yeah, exactly. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm going to see if I can scum out some of the, the Realm of Zot without closing off all the sub-branches. Yeah, I think it's okay. The only reason I don't think that it does, because I feel like recently on one of my 15 rune runs, I did not get locked out. Like, I was able to go in, and I, I think I just cleared up to the rune, or like, you know, roundabouts, and then went out and did some other stuff. But I could be wrong. Yeah, okay. It says this. Um, so, I'm going to go with this. Like, if the wiki is wrong, the wiki is wrong. But it does say that um, you can do this before you're ready to win the game. Um, and then get some experience. And then go out. And then, you know, as long as you don't pick up the orb. So, you know. I'm thinking about just doing that. And, to be honest, I need to know for any other deep runs I'm going to try to make. So, let's figure it out. Come on, come on, Zat. And, I want a good cloak. I need me a cloak. Boom.
What was that debuff that appeared on me that just said orb, by the way? And then let me just try to go back to the tomb um, and make sure I can. Yeah, okay. I seem to be good. I seem to be able to, like, they seem to have taken that aspect out, which is that um, you can do some of the Zot. But as long as I don't touch the rune, I should be good. So, let's do it. What is this orb debuff? Maybe they're just telling me that the orb is here somewhere? Yeah, get out of here. Scroll of identify. Yeah, oh, okay. Right. That is good to know. Yeah. Um, when you're in this place, Zot's Realm, you can't control teleport. Let me see if I can blink. Or, uh... Uh, abilities, evoke blink. Yeah, I can still, like, randomly blink. Um, I can't, maybe I can't control blink, but, um, tentacle monstrosity. Come on, somebody give me a cape. I'm looking for, I'm on a one-way mission for a cape. There's some food. Anyway. Bop, 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 bop. We got a bunch of scrolls. I know. I'm just like, come on, give me some scrolls, please. All right, let's step into this hallway. Let's start reciting. Don't know if it... Yeah, it does some... It confused a few people anyway. And then let's just blow these guys away. I will vitalize. All right. No. Who's got a cloak? Plus zero cloak. Plus two cloak. Getting better. You give me a, a, cl a cloak that has uh, some kind of other benefit besides just pure armor class, and I will wear it. I'm telling you, I will. I'm gonna push Control F and uh... Oh, that's right, they spell armor with a U in this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yep, only still one scroll, so I can't, no trove for me. All right, that's Zot 1 down. Let's go. Zot 2. Hey, Zot. So this is Zot. This is where you go when you need to win the game. Zot's Realm. It is primarily filled with dragons and Draconians, like all kinds of dragon-related folk. There are harder enemies. Um, there are Zot traps, as you can see. Um, but for the most part, it's dragons. And then as you get deeper, there get to be some worse guys, killer clowns. These tentacle monstrosities are not to be messed with. You want to chop them up as fast as you possibly can. Yeah, orbs of fire are arguably the hardest things in here. Oh, somebody corroded me. That's not nice. I'm near starving. Jesus. Well, let's eat some bread. All right. Chop them up. Yeah. Yeah. And just for fun, these Moths of Wrath to uh, make the already hard enemies um, berserk. Boy. Don't say I didn't get enough scrolls of uh, brand weapon. Alright. Zot's two. Remember, um, most of this is not going to be that bad for me because this is you need to be able to come in here with just three runes to try to win the game. Um, and I've got five, so, you know, I'm a little bit stronger than some of it. But once we get deeper, 
it's going to get much harder and also it can still f you up just like anything at the later part of this game if you're not paying attention or if you know you just willfully walk yourself into despair with no way out red draconian shifter get out of here you shifty all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on now. You know, no, you're right. Most of it is not as bad as the tomb. Something I'm curious about would be when, and this will help me make my decision with respect to wearing a cloak or whatever. When I am hit by torment or hellfire or smiting, does my spirit shield mitigate... Ooh, I got... I got uh, another scroll of enchant armor there. Um, ooh, I got two. I'm at three. I'm at three. Three out of four. Um, does my spirit shield mitigate hellfire and torment? Because if it does, then I might just keep this scarf just for the extra health. Although, I don't know what mitigating torment really looks like. It's more about smiting... And Hellfire, I suppose. Yeah, because Torment is just a flat percentage of your experience. So, I mean, of your health. So, even if it somehow mitigated it, it would just take it out of there as well. And, you know... I am starving. I'm so hungry. Well, let's have some bread. Alright, Zot 3... Oh, no, you're not done yet. Let's look around, make sure there's nothing else. Okay, Zot 3 is done. Here's Zot 4. And the realm of Zot is five levels deep. Alright. Yeah, that's nice. That would be good. Oh, here's a, here's a magical cloak. Let me check this out. Hey, poison resistance. I don't really need that. Okay, it's a killer clown. Let's talk about killer clowns. Um, killer clowns, you think, hey, they're hilarious. A comical figure full of life and laughter. What could go wrong, right? It looks very happy to see you. Dot, dot, dot. Why the ellipses? What, what does that mean? But there's something slightly malicious. There's a malicious cast to its features. Is that red face paint or something altogether less pleasant? Hilarious. Um, here is what is hard about him. Throw clown pie? Throws a harmful yet strangely delicious pie that can inflict its victim with a number of debilitating temporary effects. Vertigo, silence, fire vulnerability, stat drain, or aversion to drinking potions. The dreaded moon pie can even turn you into a bat, hog, or an insubstantial wisp. So all of that is terrifying. Okay, I don't want that to happen. I'm going to go Vite right away um <laughs> but his clown pie is susceptible to reflection it bounced back and hit him in the face hilarious it's your own pie yeah he blinks around it was his own pie though that hit him did you see that so good plus nine vampiric club that's that's one hell of a club Gold Draggy. Draconians. Alright. Let's just keep... Keep hitting these guys until they perish. Just scumming around. Just using Zot's 4. Zot 4 for uh, experience. Speaking of experience, let's look at my skills. Shields have been maximized. So 40 level shield is pretty much what we're going to get unless I raise my stats um, or improve my shield. Invocations is doing great. Um, dodging is doing really good. I'm going to turn this down to just regular time and turn on evocations at this point. I need to get my evocable items back you know, up to speed with the rest of me because I rely on them. All right, I'm going to go into Zots 5 here. And I'm just going to clear up to the area 
where the orb is so you can see that i'm not going anywhere near it um there are orb guardians which are infinitely spawning enemies and i don't really need to deal with them right now all right i'm gonna step back around this corner hey hey draconians um okay i'm gonna have to look through all the cloaks here's an orb guardian all right let me show you what i was talking about um A huge, glowing, four-limbed purple creature with heightened senses created by the orb itself. It guards the orb with a mornous, enormous punctiliousness and violence. Hilarious. Okay, um... Does he do anything but hit me for melee? I mean, they don't give you experience, do they? Maybe they do. Man, maybe you could just sit here and whale on those guys anyway um okay i want to get them away from those zot traps pronto nice fountain of sparkling water in case i need a little drink so what i'm doing is just exploring the entire zot five. Oh jesus okay here's an enemy that's really really hard that's here and um it is the cursed toe he torments nightmare need to kill that guy fast okay so you see how quickly that went like i was just cruising obliterating stuff in you know zot's lair and then a cursed toe was all it took to take me out um so at this point um i'm gonna go over here and scum this out but this is where zot's lair is there'll be an x and then the orb is right uh, up here somewhere basically and it's surrounded on these sides by orb guardians that, I, like I said, infinitely spawn. So there's no reason to mess with them. I'm messing with them. But anyway, what I like to do if I'm powerful enough and I'm not worried is just kind of explore the rest of Zot's realm so that there's no surprises when I'm getting in or out later in the game. It's just a clean bag all right that's all i'm gonna do of zot's realm at this point so zot's realm is five floors and like i said back here um is the rune i'm sorry the orb and it is surrounded like these two chambers on the left and the right are going to be full of really really hard enemies and you can try to dance them out and thin it a little bit but usually what i do is i just haste up Maybe put on boots of running and then just run in there, grab that orb, and then run out. Now, you can't teleport in here. Remember, you can't control blink, um, but you can get it and you can move really fast and start getting out and then just start trying to lose people as you get up the steps. But anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do is look at my stats. I have. I can wear this ring to get myself another fire resistance, and I would probably take off what? Uh, I guess this ring. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing is I, I'm trying to build my fire resist a little bit so I can go into hell. I hate to take off my blinking ring, but if it, I can always put it back on if I need to in an emergency. So I'm going to take off this and put on this. Um, interestingly, this does make me more vulnerable to cold. Which I believe there's some enemies or there's even a branch of hell where there is some cold going on. But maybe not. Who cares? We'll figure that out in terms of reassessing our gear when we, if we need to. Um... Anything else that I have that's resist fire? What I could do is wear the gold dragon scales um, to get full fire resist. I think I actually am going to have to do that. It's not optimal. I'd love to have my crystal plate on, but 
you take so much fire damage that having three out of three is almost a requirement. Um, so let me go control F and then golden dragon scales. Um, mm, how about no golden? No, it's called gold dragon scales. All right. Gold dragon. Um, I've only have plus zero ones. All right, well, whatever. I'll pick up some. All right, if I, then if I put this on, um, it does... God, it reduces my armor class by so much. Blah, makes me want to vomit. Um, even reduces my shield and evade as well, but you got to do what you got to do. Now I have three out of three fire resistance. In hell, it's more important to have fire resistance, most likely, than a, a few extra AC points. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. I mean, and the nice thing is I can always just leave. Okay. Um, I probably shouldn't have walked in here hungry, but that happens. Oh, that's right. Okay, so one of the things that's tough about going into hell. So here we are, everybody. We're in hell. Ever wanted to go here? All right. Um, here's a sun demon, which are hard, but I don't know if they've tweaked them. Anyway, um, he's not that bad. This guy, though, is bad. Uh, Jerion, the gatekeeper of hell, um, because he can summon a hell beast, I suppose. Anyway, um... I'm going to vitalize, and I'm going to just start reciting. And I'm just going to go in and fight this guy. Pillar of Salt. I confused Garyon with my recitation, by the way. This is another place where Zin just comes up gangbusters. Because, you know, most of these guys are demons and the like. And they don't want anything to do. Um, No, I can't use this thing. You can summon um, beasts with that, but it's it's a very evil item. Surprise, it's from hell. Um, and Zin would not be happy. So what I'm going to do is just try to clear out the first floor of hell here. And you can see what's going on here. This is like the vestibule, really, of hell. You know, the, the antechamber. Yeah, see, look, there's these, all these blizzard demons, like, to do, uh, yeah, the foyer. And so, there are some guys out here who do cold damage just to kind of make sure that you have that as well. So that's another reason why the gold dragon scales are at least a little bit helpful. They do provide me with some resist cold. Um, zombie guys are not, not challenging. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, annihilate them. Okay. Alright, let's clear out. Oh, okay, so there is an all coal branch. So I'll have to redo my gear when I get to that point. I'm on fire. Okay. All right. Man, I can't eat that guy. It's like I should so be able to eat that guy. All right. Get out of here. All right, so one thing you want to do when you get to hell, and this, let me continue exploring, by the way. Oh, statues. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'll save that one for last, I suppose. No reason to mess with it now. When you get here, you've discovered that there are one, two, three... Are there four branches in hell? I thought there was only three. Maybe I'm being... I'm misremembering here. Well, let's talk about it. And each one has a rune. There's four runes here. So there's four runes here, four in Pandemonium. Okay. Um, I guess that makes sense. I gotta get to 15, right? Ah, ah, I gotcha. Um, okay, so what you have to do when you go into hell is educate yourself. Because not educating yourself in this game is, you know, how you die. Um, one of the many ways. And let's see. It is the vestibule of hell. Alright, so there's Gehenna, uh, Cositus, 
Tartarus and the Iron City. Um, the Iron City is probably one of the easier ones for me because I can take physical damage like nobody's business. Tartarus seems okay. And then Gehenna is a nightmare, but I have three out of three fire resist. And then I'll change my gear around for um, Cositis. So each branch has different things about it. Like Gehenna is all fire. Cositis is cold. Tartarus is filled with undead um, and negative energy. And then Dis is like big heavy hitter melee guys. Um, now, the other thing that you need... Okay, so each branch of hell... Um, is seven levels deep and on the seventh level there's a unique named demon that you have to fight and kill to get that rune the other thing is hell has what's called a mystical force where it just lashes out at you randomly and does a bunch of crap to you this is why zin is the shit he protects you most of the time if not 100 percent of the time against hell's mystic force so you just don't have to worry about that element um and i mean like, just for an example, one of the Hell's Mystic Forces is a 1 to 7 point stat drain, which is awful. Um, magical Contamination, which sucks. Getting Confused, Going Berserk, Petrification. I mean, just... Blah, okay? So, let's, um, let's try this, alright? So, what you want to do is you come in here and you clear it out. And then you're like, alright, I'm clear. The branches are not one way. So let's just go in and start clearing them out like we would any other part of the dungeon. Being careful, being mindful of our positioning, um, and equipping the appropriate resists for the branch that you're in. So I am in Dis on the first level. Oop, this guy uh, got me with a Sphere of Damnation. That's painful. Um, where's my necklace? Oh, okay. As Fading is telling you, that's a good point. Um, similar, I suppose, to the Abyss, any stairs up will just take you all the way out. So you can't, um, like, stair dance on the last level, I suppose. But once you've cleared it, then you just have to walk down all the levels again. So, you know, you, it's still a good idea to leave. Um, oh, I'm wearing the Cloak of Surprise. That's right. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, hey, people. What was that? Let me just see what was hitting me so hard. The Tormentor. Alright, so... Tormentors are the ones that can call on darkness and wreck you. Um, is this a Reaper? Yeah, okay, you're bad. Let's just kill you. And as Fading was saying, we'll just close the door. Close the door. And we're gonna close this door, and I'm gonna rest. Um, Diabolical Laughter. The, uh... Hades, I suppose, has summoned some guys in here for me to fight. <laughs> that is... Yeah, Fading is just demonically laughing at me. Hilarious. All right, so... It's good to be aware, like, when this does happen. Here's the Tormentor. He's my number one has-to-die-right-away guy because, he, you know, again, he just did it. He tormented me. Torment is so annoying and has crushed my dreams so many times, it's prompted me to play... Classes like um, Gargoyle or Mummy, who's entirely immune to Torment, <laughs> just to not have to deal with it. Gargoyle, I believe, gets like a 25% reduction, which is no small thing. It's very helpful. So once you know what your ultimate threat is... And for me, it's anything that could torment in here. Oh, I'm starving. I'm so hungry. And again, not many things you can eat here. So before you come to these endgame sub-branches, make sure you pack your lunch. 
I'm slowing down. Ooh. Um, Zin did not protect me from... Oh, no. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. It looked like it didn't at first, but then later you can see at the bottom, Zin's power protects you from the chaos of hell. Zin's like, hell no, hell. You are not messing with my dude, my lawgiver of Zin. Wow. Yeah, I like to clear everything as well. Um, can't eat that guy. But I because I don't have spell hunger or anything, um, Tormentor, he's just... He's one... Oh, Flare. Okay, this is getting ugly. This is the kind of stuff that can happen where it just starts getting out of control. Um, okay, I need to go into this room. I need some privacy, please. Excuse me, everyone. I'm changing. And then, you know, of course, uh, Hades is going to summon demons in here, but um, that's... Luckily, he summons them, like, right on top of me, which is fine, as long as they're next to me and can't torment. No prob. Yeah, XP is great. I mean, look at me. Um, I'm leveling up my skills insanely. Got my evasion back to... Uh, 20. I believe that was the Brimstone Fiend that hit me so hard there. Yeah, the Brimstone Fiend can also torment. That's what calling on the power of darkness is all about. So he's another jerk that needs to die immediately. God, I'm so hungry. Now, I will say that like a potential other strategy if you wanted it would be to go um straight for the steps and skip all the floors and just go for the demon i don't necessarily think it's that safe but if you were having food concerns or whatever or you just didn't need any more experience or for whatever reason that would be a good idea you can just skip ahead but i like to just clear everything See if there's any good stuff for me. I don't think there's going to be much treasure at all. Most of the treasure lies on the final floor, but still. Experience can save your life. I got marked. We're going to kill these guys so fast. All right. That's true. So, Fading is bringing up a good point about that strategy of just skipping through, which is that because you, when you leave and go up, you just go right out, you don't have to worry about running into any enemies that you haven't cleared yet. So, there is that benefit of it. I'm just scumming the experience right now. Ugh! This might be a situation where I just leave and try again. This is so bad. Okay, so there's um, one, two Tormentors. The Hellion um, can also call down Damnation, so all of these guys can torment. So I'm just going to go up. I'll take this guy with me. Look at that. Look how bad I got hurt. I mean, I'm below half health. Just like that. So sometimes you have to, you have to play it safe. But because I've cleared everything, it's pretty easy to just go down. I'm going to pick a different staircase and see if I can get a more fortuitous uh, situation on the third floor here. I'm just going to fight right on this so I can leave if too many tormentors come out. Now, the other thing is I'm going to start uh, reciting. You see that I turn this guy into salt, uh, the tormentor has been seriously injured. He might die next round. I'm going to just give him acid. Um, okay, we killed him before he was able to do his thing, which is nice. Let's kind of just keep it between us, guys. Like, guys who can't torment. Can we do that? Can we just keep it between us? Let's not tell the tormentors that we're even here. Just have a little private engagement. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay. All right. And he blasted me. Blasted me. And that was three blasts of his damnation in one. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to rest. Um, I'm not... <laughs> Uh, man, I am not having luck. Oh my god, look at this disaster. All right. Hey. Uh, I gotta run. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um. Okay, two questions. I'm thinking about just blinking here and getting out. But the other question is, number one... Can I silence? And will that stop them? And then the other question is, um, yeah, I was going to say, can I fog? Can I silence? Will all of that stuff work at a 100% clip? Yeah, it really is. So there's no guarantee that the fog is going to go in the place that I want. Um, so I'm just going to... Holy Word. And Holy Word. Alright, so Holy Word killed most of them. There's one Tormentor left, which I will... Just hit with this, I guess. Yeah. That's why you save those Holy Word Scrolls. What just hit me? The, zo the, zo the uh, zombie, huh? The zombie Hydra. Man, that's impressive. I didn't think you had that in you, dude. Alright. Let's just rest. Let's heal up. Let's heal up. Torment just gets that surprise damage in you that you don't want to deal with. Or at least I don't want to deal with it anyway. Alright. Okay, 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 people. Nope, got corroded. Let's wait for that to wear off. Ooh. A Tzitzib... The middle. Uh, what do you on about? You torment. You're on about bad. I don't want you to torment me. Don't torment me. You didn't. Appreciate that. Kill these skeleton guys easily. Kill these skeleton guys. Oh, he blew me up. All right. I've turned to stone. Hmm, Zin didn't protect me that time. So it's not 100% that Zin will protect you from the uh, the chaos of hell. If that is indeed what just did that to me. Uh, look at this situation. Two tormentors equals your hit points just disappear. Alright, let's rest. I'm done getting tormented. Alright. Zin protected me twice. Alright, whatever, guys. Get out of here with that. Alright, so that is the end of disc three. So what does that mean? That means that there's four more levels to go with the demon on the bottom floor. My intelligence has been drained by three, but that's not horrible. Um, 
I have not been mutated. Nothing else bad is happening to me. All right. Um, I did say I was going to look for cloaks. Um, let me just see if there's anything else. Not really. No, no amazing cloaks that I've missed. My cloak is fine for here. Um, okay. All right. So, looking at my spot, what I'm going to say is that I have cleared through Discord 3, uh, or I'm sorry, the City of Dis 3. And what I'm going to do then is um, find the staircase down. And remember, it doesn't really matter which staircase you use unless you figure out that that's a bad staircase and you come back later. But because any staircase you take up is going to take you out of this branch of hell and you have to start again at the beginning, but all the enemies that you've defeated are gone, so you can just get put back quickly. Um, and it's always worth leaving if things are going south. I think I am going to stop here for the evening um, and say thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been a good, very productive evening of Crawl. We've obtained um, two more runes. All right, so we're at five out of 15. Um, we also have cleared, uh, at this point, the dungeon, the snake pit, the vaults, Zot's realm up to the orb, the slime pits, the crypt, the lair, the orcish mines, the first level of the tomb we did. We went into the abyss, went down to floor number three, and got the abyssal rune. Um, we've cleared the shoals, the elvish halls, the elven halls, the depths, and we've got the four branches of hell to go and that's where we'll pick up tomorrow so i think we're doing really really well here we obviously still have to be careful there are some gear pieces that we need i'm not sure we have the resist cold yet for um Cassidus, but we'll see all right everybody thank you so much have a great evening peace